My name's Alexis Gregory, and I'm the creator and the performer of a solo theatre piece called Riot Act. I play three different gay men at three different points of history, and it's created entirely out of my interviews with these three men. Michael Anthony Nosey, who is one of the only remaining Stonewall survivors from the night of the Stonewall riots. It's very rare to find anyone who is still alive who was there on that night. I play Lavinia Co-op, who is a radical underground drag artist who came to prominence in the 1970s. And I play Paul Burston, who is a prominent AIDS activist from the 90s. I call it a channeling, playing these three different roles. It's, it's a kind of a channeling of the queer spirit over six decades as well. And this summer, of course, is the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. I've never seen Alexis this focused and this clear as to where he was going and what he was saying and what he felt about it. It was like the characters were speaking through him, like the story was speaking through him and that he was allowing it to, you know, like channeling. It was really like a seance. Ricky and I have been working together for about 15 years and I initially started working with Ricky as an actor and then Ricky directed my first play, Slap, and then I asked him to come on board with this because I knew he would be the perfect director for it. I knew that he would understand the subject matter and I felt very safe doing such a show with Ricky because we have such a good relationship. Riot Act wouldn't exist without Michael, Lavinia or Paul. They've all been so brave in giving me their life, their words and letting me reshape it as well. It's not a direct representation of them. I'm not doing impersonations of the guys. I'm exaggerating them or I'm giving them a completely different character or a different voice. And so to let me run with it as well is incredibly brave and, and, and a big honor. The show really takes you up and down. It's like going to dinner with three supremely entertaining guests because they're just ordinary people like you, but they've had these extraordinary lives and the stories are literally laugh, cry, laugh, cry. We did a run at the King's Head Theatre for the queer season last year. We went into the West End and did a charity gala performance with Dean Street for World AIDS Day. And now we're at the Arcola over the summer and we're going on a mini UK tour, visiting lots of cities in the UK. It's also a play about youth, about ageing, family, about addiction, about sex, community, togetherness, about conflict in the community. So we cover a lot in an hour. It's a very honest, unflinching portrayal of queer life. It asks questions of the audience. It's quite naughty at points. It's quite provocative. And it feels like 2019 is the right time to do it, not just because of the riots, but because we're talking a lot about activism, about societal and political change and upheaval. We're surrounded by it. I think this is one of those pieces of theatre that people are going to talk about for years and people will say, I saw it, did you? I really think it's, he's made a legacy piece that will stand the test of time and become legendary. Yeah, it's been a wild trip and I feel in many ways there's so much more that we are going to do with it.